Okay, guys. Um, uh, Chinese brush strokes. So I'm going to teach you a few. We're going to practice. So when you come in class, I'm going to want you to watch this video on your uh, computers. So you could stop it when you want to. You're going to do a little bit, stop it, practice, do your, do your own practice, watch some more, practice. Before you actually get the, the final paper, I want you to practice on the manila paper. So this is what you're going to practice on. You want a soft brush. Um, one of these days, I keep saying I'm going to invest in some Chinese brushes. Eventually I will, I just haven't yet. But you do want a soft brush. It's nice if you have a little bit of a longer tip and it comes to a point. So this is this is all we have. This will work though, so I'm gonna show you how this works. So you want manila paper to practice. You want water. You want your uh, paint. And paper towels. Remember, you always want paper towels when you watercolor because you want to be able to control. So I'm going to show you. Now, the Chinese, they, they learn to paint because, you know, they do the, they, they paint, they actually paint their letters with these strokes. So that, so when you see those Chinese letters, they, they've done it with a brush, not with a pencil. They've done it with a brush. Now, the way they hold their paintbrush is they hold it between these two right here like this because they're, they're not going to do this. They want, they also believe that it's spiritual to paint. Paintings, is, it's a spiritual thing. So they paint with their body, their whole arm. They're not going to paint like this with your, your arms not going to rest when they paint. They, they paint with the whole arm like this. So they hold that brush like that. And, and depending on how they're, if they got a real big brush, they're probably holding up here in a smaller, more detail, they're gonna hold down closer. Like this, or like that. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you a lot of different uh, paint strokes. The first one I'm gonna show you is how to do a bamboo plant. So we're gonna do the stalk of the bamboo. So we're gonna load our brush up with some water here, load it up with paint. I don't care what color, you, when you guys do yours, you can, you can experiment with color. And I'm gonna show you how to do a two-tone too. So let's, I'm gonna think I'm gonna do purple. So I'm gonna load that brush up. I really, really want that brush loaded up with paint. So I'm coming in here and I'm getting a lot of paint. Now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my brush like this. So see, it's like this. And I'm going to come down. I'm going to start down lower. And I'm going to put that whole brush down. And then I'm going to kind of lift up a little bit. And I'm going to paint up. So see, when I do that, I automatically have a thicker back here. Now, I don't want to put any more. I don't want any more paint because I loaded it up. I'm just going to keep going. Do it again. And see, I'm going to come kind of close. And just kind of come up like that. Okay, so these are the stalks. Now, there's a node. It's called a node where those come together. Now, the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to hold my brush a little different. Instead of going flat and coming up, I'm going to kind of hold it more like this and I'm going to just paint like that. I've connected the stalks. Now, on a bamboo plant, they're always asymmetrical. So when I start to do the branches that come out and they come out from the nodes. I don't want to make them, I don't want it to be symmetrical. That means mirror image. I want to go back and forth. So if I 
bring some out here. Now these, we want thin. We want to do the tip of the brush with these. So it's the tip. So see, I'm holding my brush up like this. And it's like that. And then I'm gonna do one over here. Oops, and I wanna keep it, I, I do wanna keep it I think one of the videos, they actually kind of went like that with the, with the branches. You can look at a real bamboo plant when you, when you go to, to, to do yours. I'm just going to do it like that. Okay. So let's, let's review because I do want you to practice. You can have as much of this paper as you want when you go to practice. So let me do that again. Let's see, I'll do a different color. Load it up. I'm going to make sure this is in the camera here. Load it up with paint. Because you're only going to do this once. You're only going to load it up with once when you make your plan. Now, I'm going to hold it like this. Come down like that. And paint up. Stop. Lift my paintbrush. Come down. Paint up, come to a complete stop, lift my paintbrush. Press down, lift up, stop, lift my paintbrush. Flat, paint up, stop, lift my paintbrush. Okay. And just because we didn't load any more paint, it should be thicker down here and get thinner as we come up because we didn't load anymore. Now, if, if I do want it to be darker on this side, I could just come in here and kind of add a little bit. I don't have to, I don't have to. I'm gonna show you how to do two-tone here in a minute. But then we want the nodes. Remember, this is the node. That's where we bring it together, okay? Then we want the branches. Remember, asymmetrical. Okay, now what I didn't show you was the leaves because that's another, another brush stroke. So we've done this one where we come up. We've done the nodes where we just kind of go like that. And then we did the branches where we're more at a point going like that. Okay, so now the leaves of the bamboo plant. Now I'm gonna actually do another piece of paper because I wanna show you how to hold your brush and how to make these leaves before I do it on the, so, so paint. I'm gonna load my brush up. Now what I'm gonna do, so there I'm still holding my brush like this, but now I'm gonna turn it this way. I'm gonna turn it so it's up and down. So now I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna press down like that. So it's all the way down. But then as I paint downwards, I'm gonna lift up off the paper with my brush. So watch, I'm gonna paint down and lift up at the same time like that. So I come to a point right there. Sometimes it helps if you make a swish noise. If you go swish. Oopsie, that's not very good. So you're going to get some mess ups, but practice. So press down, paint downwards and up the same time. Down and up at the same time. Down, up. And, you, and you're going to mess up. I just messed up too. So it's like, uh, it's almost like a you almost have to do it without thinking, because if you think about it, you, you don't do as well. So down and up. Down, up. There, see? That's what we want. Thicker up top until a point at the bottom. Down, up. Swish. <laughs> Swish. 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 And so practice this. 
when you think you got it, when you think you're coming to those points, then come back to that plant that you just made. So I'm gonna change here. So now I'm gonna do it again. So this time I'm gonna do it on my, on my. Th I think I'm gonna give it green. And and the plants are usually there's they're they're in the the leaves are usually grouped together in like three to five. So they'll be you're gonna do three, maybe a couple little tiny ones going up like that. But the big ones always go down. Law of gravity. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna be down. Or maybe a little one. But for the most part they're coming down. So do, once you go to, to make your, to paint yours, practice, and then go ahead and, and, and look at some, uh, some bamboo plants on the internet to look at them. Okay, so I got like that. Now, I want to show you a two-tone bamboo stalk. So we've got that. So now let me show you how to do a two-tone. So here's what I'm going to do. I want to take my paintbrush. <clears throat> and I want to load it with a color. And when you do this, you got to choose two colors that look good together. So maybe like blue and red or purple and red. Or uh, maybe red and, and yellow because you also want to think you you want them to show so let's see I think I'll do a purple so I'm gonna load my brush up for purple so that it's it's the, the purple is in the back and what I'm gonna kind of do is I'm gonna take off some of that so I've got my paper towel and I'm, I'm taking off the tip of that purple so so I'm getting rid of that and then what I want to do is, is I'm gonna dip that tip, just just the tip of my brush, not the whole tip, all the brush, just the tip. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna load half my brush up with red. So purple's in the back. So there's purple back here and there's red on the tip. So now I'm gonna do that bamboo plant. So down, up, stop, lift up. And you see the red and the purple? Down, up, stop, lift. Down, up, stop, lift. Okay. Down, up, stop, lift. Stop, lift. Okay, and you want to stop and lift so that you, you end up like that. Because then we're going to come here and make this node. And see that, that, that purple and that red have kind of mixed. So now I've got a, a red violet for that. That's kind of cool. And remember the branches. For some reason, when I come over here, my hand wants to shake a little bit. Okay. And now, and, and you can you can play around. You don't have to keep the same colors all the time. I, I'm gonna do a blue. Now watch, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do a blue. But then I'm gonna come in here and get some blue some green on my blue. I still have the blue in there, so then I'll have like a blue green. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. Now it's a swish up. It's a it's down and up, down and up. And if, if you got any going up, up, it, they're little. They're little. They're little. So I'm, I'm off the page over here. There, see that? Okay, 
So I want you to practice. You can practice all you want before you do your final. And when you do your final one, um, go ahead and look at one on the internet and kind of copy it if you can. I want to show you some other things too that you can add to your final painting. I want to show you another brush stroke that will make, let's see, we'll, we'll do a little flower. And it can be two-tone too. So let's see. I think I'll, I'll, I'm going to load up in the red. And, and there again, I want to kind of get off a little bit of that tip. So I got red at the, in the back. And then I'm going to come in here and get some yellow. So this is going to be like red and, and yellow, which will be kind of the orange. So now what I'm going to do, and let's, let me do another piece of paper so you can see it real good. Like I said, you can do as much of this as you want. I'm using this paper that's it's a graph paper, so you can only use one side. Well, I guess you could use the other side, but. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my brush. I'm gonna hold it like this. And I'm, I wanna come all the way down, flat. And I'm gonna lift my brush up like that. And then I'm gonna go back and forth. Not all the way, just a little bit. Because when I do that, then you see it's wider here and it's smaller there. So now I'm gonna take, I can turn my brush or I can turn my paper. I'm gonna do another one right here. So I'm gonna come all the way down, up, and like that. Do it again. I'm gonna try to do it four times. I, I, I may not have enough paint my my brush. I may have to reload my brush here before I do this all. So and straight up. And that might be all right. And then I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna take my brush. My brush is starting to so I'm gonna I, I'm just gonna take my fingers and just make that more of a point again. So I'm gonna come down here. Up and like that. And then I've made it. Now this one didn't turn out as good. I'm, I'm running out of paint. Okay, so let's do this again. Let me do it a different color so you can see it better. And let me do a blue one. Okay. So my brush is like this. Come straight down like this. Flat. Lift this brush straight up and then twist. Twist. That one didn't turn out very good. I'm going to do this again. Down, straight up, twist. Okay. I'm going to turn my paper. Down, straight up, twist. These aren't looking as good as they did over there. Let's see. Down, straight up, twist. And twist. Okay, now what I'm going to do, because I do want it to look better, so now I'm going to add to it. So I'm going to take some red and just kind of do this. Put too much red on this one. I'm going to add to it. Now 
I should let that dry, but I'm gonna take some some black, and I really, I think I wanna use a little tiny brush for this, what I'm gonna do here. I want that to be a point. I'm gonna come here and get some black. I'm only getting, using the black on the, on the tip, just the tip. Because I'm gonna do this. Now that kind of looks like a little flower. All right, now I'm going to show you a dragonfly. Now I'm going to do the dragonfly with the same as same kind of brush stroke as I did with the flower with the petal. So I'm going to come here and I'm just stick with blue since I got so much water in that blue. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take my brush like this. I'm going to come down, lift up, and I'm going to Do that, and then I'm going to do it to the other side. Same thing. Just going to get a little bit more paint. Down, and so this is like the, the wings of my dragonfly. If I had a bigger brush, it would be bigger. We have to make do with what we have. We don't have the Chinese brushes, but we can still come up with some really nice things. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get in the black. I don't want too much. I don't want a lot of water in this one. I don't want this to be really watered. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm holding my brush like this, sort of like when I was doing the branch, cause I'm gonna, but it's also like the leaf too. But I, this time I'm not gonna swish up, I'm gonna go smaller. So I'm going to come up here at the top. This is where the, where the head of the dragonfly is. So I'm going to kind of put my brush down so this thicker up top. And then I'm going to, as I come down, I'm going to gently, gently, gently come up, lift my lift my brush up to where it, it it's thinner down there. It's thinner. I want that to be thinner. Right there, and I really want it to be thinner than that. So let me let me practice on that a little bit. And this is where if you got too much water, it's not going to work as well. So I, I've got like right there, and I'm gonna lift up, and I want to get really really thin as I come down. Really really thin. Yeah, that's not too bad. Now I can I did the body first. Now I can do the, let me do a two-tone here. Yeah, it's gonna end up looking like a purple, but let me do this. So now I'm gonna come right here, up and do my leaf, or my, not my leaf, it's the wing, it's the wing. And it really would be nice if this was a bigger brush so I could really make that wing bigger. That one looks better than that one. Anyway, there, there we got that. Now I'm going to use this little thin one. Because what I want to do... Now I do have some thin brushes you can use, but I, I wish I had a long pointed, longer pointed ones that you guys can use. I, I just don't. They're really expensive. I don't know if you've ever been to the art store and, and looked at the Chinese painting kits and they usually use black ink we're using watercolor it's gonna it's just it's the same I mean it works just fine I think a dragonfly does he have I, does he have little things he's got like little eyes yeah maybe let's look at one we'll have to look at one to look at one now I there's also a video it shows you how to make a bird. So watch it. And I haven't I haven't attempted to do that yet. I've only done the bamboo plant and the and these and the little flowers. That's all I've done. Um, but uh, watch the videos. Experiment the different ways. So so watch mine. 
practice these. These are like the simple for bamboo plant. And then watch the other videos that I have for you. And, and watch how they paint. Really watch how they do their... See how that's coming up. So different, different, different ways. Just let it flow. You just want to let it flow. It's real spiritual, like I said. It's just you know, kind of get in the mood. We should play some Chinese music while we're while we're doing this. So maybe I'll look that up and we'll play some Chinese music. But uh, that's what I want you to do when you come in class. Once you've practiced, then you're going to get the good watercolor paper. You don't need to tape it down this time because we're not doing a wash. You're going to paint directly on them without doing a wash. You're not doing a wash. So then you'll, you'll, and like I said, look at some pictures of bamboo plants and, and check other things out if you want to do something different. But in the style, so your finished, your final painting will be in the style of Chinese paint painting using the Chinese brush strokes and, and holding the brush like they do. Okay, so really challenge yourself and do that. And uh, practice. We'll be practicing. I'll be showing you this. I'm gonna I'm gonna upload it tonight. It'll be in your Google Classroom, so you can look at it and practice. Practice and have fun. Enjoy it. Just just go with the flow. And and let's look at these one more time before I turn this off. And that's it.